Genesis 10. And this is the genealogy of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, Cam, and Japheth. And sons were born to them after the flood, the sons of Japheth, Gomer, and Magog, and Madai, and Yuan, and Tubal, and Meshech, and Tiras, and the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, and Riphath, and Tugarma, and the sons of Yuan, Alasha, and Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. From these the coastland peoples of the Guyim were separated into their lands, every one according to his language, according to their clans, into their Guyim, and the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mitzram, and Put, and Canaan, and the sons of Cush, Sheba, and Huila, and Sabta, and Rama, and Sabtaka, and the sons of Rama, Sheba, and Dedan. And Cush brought forth Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one on the Aretz. He was a mighty hunter before Yahuwah. Therefore it is said, like Nimrod, the mighty hunter before Yahuwah. And the beginning of his reign was Babel, and Erech, and Akkad, and Kalne, in the land of Shinar. From that land he went to Ashur, and built Ninua, and Rehobotair, and Kala, and Rezen, between Ninua and Kala, the great city. And Mitzrim brought forth Ludim, and Anamim, and Lahabim, and Naphtuim, and Pathrusim, and Kasluhim, from whom came the Philistim and Kaphtorim. And Canaan brought forth Sidon, his firstborn, and Kath, and the Yabusi, and the Amorite, and the Girgashite, and the Kui, and the Arkite, and the Sinite, and the Arki, and the Tsemarite, and the Hamathite. And afterward the clans of the Canaanites were spread abroad, and the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon, as you go toward Gerar, as far as Azah, as you go toward Sodom, and Amora, and Adma, and Tseboim, as far as Lasha. These were the sons of Ham, according to their clans, according to their languages, in their lands, in their Guyim, and also to Shem, the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth the elder, children were born, the sons of Shem, Elam, and Asher, and Arpachshad, and Lud, and Aram, and the sons of Aram, Uts, and Kul, and Gether, and Mash. And Arpachshad brought forth Shelach, and Shelach brought forth Eber. And to Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Peleg, for in his Yomim the Eretz was divided, and his brother's name was Yoktan. And Yoktan brought forth Almodad, and Shelef, and Katsarmawith, and Yerak, and Hadaram, and Uzal, and Dikla, and Obal, and Abimal, and Sheba, and Ophir, and Huila, and Yobab. All these were sons of Yoktan, and their dwelling place was from Mesha, as you go toward Sephar, a mountain of the east. These were the sons of Shem, according to their clans, according to their languages, in their lands according to their Guyim. These were the clans of the sons of Noach, according to their generations, in their Guyim. And from these the Guyim, or races or nationalities, were divided on the Eretz after the flood.